Dance Finger and I'm an artist. And last time you saw me, I was using a walker and a wheelchair. So you can see I have upgraded to a trusty cane and a knee brace. All this is the result of me having a very traumatic injury back in October and then having to have surgery. Since then, I've been kind of trying to figure out how to make art, how to cope with the injury, all that kind of stuff. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you on a art printing adventure. Before my injury, I painted a painting that has since been sold called Table Tulips. sent it off to the person who bought it, I did get it professionally scanned at this really high quality local print shop. This is from back in August or September. They did give me the sample print to show kind of how the colors will render. The guy who helped me with the scanning of this, I feel bad for him. I made him redo it so many times because I wanted to get the colors as close as humanly possible to the actual painting which I had there at the time. There's like some blues here some like light blues that were giving us trouble. And now like six or seven months later, I'm gonna finally be able to go back and hopefully get the printing process up and running. They'll all be signed artist copies and once the run is gone, they will never be printed again. There were a lot of people who were interested in this piece, but there was only one original. So I thought it would be cool to do like a really high quality reproduction. Today, go and make contact with the printer after not talking with them for a while. Check out some paper options. I want something that got a good thickness to it, that I like the texture of, that has the right balance of cool versus warm white, and then also to actually place the order as well. This has been on my brain for forever, so it is going to feel really good to actually get it in motion. Let's see how it goes. prints of the table tulips piece from the printer. I am so excited with how these turned out. The print quality and the colors and the paper are absolutely gorgeous. For sizing, it's a small size. Actual paper is eight by 10 inches and the image is six by 8.32 inches. And then this larger size is 12 by 16, the actual paper. And then the image is nine by 12.48. I have more of the small ones available than I'll have of the larger ones. Before I put these down, I wanna show you, I'm not sure what you can see of that, but like the tooth of this paper is everything I wanted. The colors just came out so vibrantly. I think I'm gonna actually keep one of the big ones. Like there's not as many available, but I just want one for myself, so. Yeah, quick knitting update. decided I wanted to make a hat for me. So I ended up self-drafting a pattern. Here is my own personal beanie. I will try it on for you.
So some details about this hat. I decided I wanted to add in like a pre-folded brim, which I really enjoy. And then also I deviated from the normal ribbed knit one pearl one pattern. It looks extremely similar and I'm not sure if you can actually tell, but the way that the stitch is formed gives it a little bit of a different look. I think it looks a little cleaner than your normal one by one rib. This could already be an established knitting pattern, a stitch pattern, because knitting has been around for, I don't know, so long. So if you know what this stitch pattern is actually called and not Little Owl's backwards braid, let me know. But I'm not even sure what to Google rib alternatives. I actually have started knitting more. The second version that I'm doing of this hat, this was my first time knitting with mohair. I think I kind of hate it. All these little fluffs that make it so beautiful kept breaking off without me seeing them. They were like these invisible fluffs. I can feel it even now just after holding it. They kept getting lodged in my throat or my nose. And then the mohair fluffs would stick in my throat or nose for like at minimum 24 hours afterwards, which has made me really hesitant to pick up this knitting project because I'm dreading that scratchy mohair in my throat forever feeling. Maybe once I blocked it, it won't give me as much trouble. But the thing that kills me is the colors that are available in mohair are so vibrant. Scrolling through, I think it was Rowan Yarns, the colors they have available of their mohair. That's that's not what this is, this is Pearl Soho, which I've used Pearl Soho yarns before and liked them. I was scrolling through the, the Rowan the mohair haze colors and I was just dying because there's like these juicy emerald greens and like vibrant magentas and stunning lavenders. And I just haven't seen those vibrant of colors in any other type of yarn except for mohair. So if you're a big mohair fan, does this get better? Is it just the mohair I'm using? I kind of feel like it's more trouble than it's worth. I know it's like expensive and I guess time will tell. Anyways, that's my knitting update. Come back next time where we will talk art, knitting, injuries, in general life. Bye.